Hello everybody and welcome to our 2012-2013 Brown Women's Basketball Preview. My name is Scott Kredishi and we're happy to be joined by the head coach of the Brown Bears, Jean Marie Burr. Jeannie, how are you? Doing well, Scott. Well, uh, first of all, I'd be remiss if I didn't congratulate you on your 300th career victory. Quite an accomplishment you attained that last year. Yeah, we're coming off a pretty exciting season. My uh, seniors last year, which were uh, Aileen Daniels and Hannah Passafiume, in their jobs right now, but they worked so hard last year to get those wins under our belt. Well, it certainly wasn't just those two. It was a lot of great players that yes. you brought into this program over the course of 24, now going on 25 years, that helped you attain those yeah. 300 wins. Yeah, it always takes leadership, though. And I think I've been very fortunate at Brown throughout my career to have some outstanding captains and, and seniors and players that are kind of just love to play and love the game and love Brown. You know, that was an exciting team last year. And I think fans are also excited about what this year's team could look like. And of course, the girl <laughs> that I think everyone's talking about in the preseason is Sheila, Sheila Dixon. Dixon. She was the, you know, <laughs> uh, Women's Player of the Year in yeah, Rhode Island and right. just a terrific player. Yeah, she's explosive. Um, coming out of Schenectady, New York, she played for one of the top AAU programs in the country and her accomplishments at Brown are not just on the basketball court. She did was recognized second team all Ivy. I think, you know, she hit the winning basket against Florida when we beat them. You know, you mentioned winning the Brown Bear Classic. I know you were very proud last year. Your team won not one but two in-season tournaments. Yeah. You won up in Maine and you won at home at Brown. It was really exciting. Um, you know, I actually, for the Maine tournament, you can just hear the music. You know, the, um, the team was focused. It was early in the year. Uh, we found ourselves in the championship game against Maine at Maine, and um, I can just see the the execution they had defensively to get us the ball down the stretch to uh, score in overtime and win by one. So you know you have games like that; it's really going to you know pull the team together. Okay, you mentioned losing Hannah and losing Aileen to graduation. Yeah. Sheila obviously being one of the leaders this year. Let's talk about some <laughs> of the other players that you expect big things from this season. Yeah, we had, um, in our program, we always you know, look to leaders. And um, when you end a season like that, we were 16 and 10 last year. Um, you want to have someone that's kind of pulling everyone together in the uh, end of the season. And that was Lindsay Nickel. She was recognized as our uh, spring captain. And uh, she's a shooter. She can really drain it from, you know, all around the perimeter. And her all-around game coming out of the Palo Alto, California area, um, we're literally looking for her leadership to, you know, gel our backcourt with Lauren Clark at the point um, because all three of them have experience with uh, Lindsay, Lauren, and Sheila. And Lauren Clark was also recognized as Player of the Week uh, last year as well as a um, Hoop Madness Player of the, the Week. So, you know, we have a good backcourt, and Lindsay Nickel is a three-year letter winner going into her fourth year. Uh, will lead the team as a backcourt uh, scorer. I know you have a few freshmen as well. Uh, any freshmen that you expect to contribute right away, or is it a situation where maybe they'll have to, you know, develop a little bit before well, they... Well, usually, before? Scott, when I have to talk about my freshmen right away, you know, it's kind of a scary year ahead. Right. So uh, I'm very excited about our first years, but I'm, I'm very excited that they have the leadership of our sophomores and juniors that have uh, one and two seasons under their belt and can help them transition into Division One basketball. So I expect that they're going to help us on a daily basis as well as possibly earn some time because, as you know, the best players play. That's right. You know, so, um, yeah, but we have uh, Jordan Alexander from Indiana. Um, she was a highly touted and a very exciting player, a backup point guard. Um, you know, we also have in the sophomore class Nellie Welge that she'll be competing with. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, those three should help have a, a good sense of the game and be able to push us and push the tempo for us. And then we have Natalie Ball, who's also out of, a freshman out of Florida. And she is. Um, you know, uh, a player that can play inside, play outside. She averaged over 25 points a game, um, held records at her high school. And again, you know, transitioning into, I think, our, our weather. She had to buy a jacket recently. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> so she's, uh, you know, they're doing so well. And Elise Sharp from Ohio, she's facing a few injuries right now. Um, but I'm very excited by all three. They actually, in our preseason conditioning, came in our top three spots in both our 
distance condition test as well as our, our short test. So they came in ready to play. Coach, as we look ahead at this season's <laughs> schedule, quite an ambitious schedule. Eight teams that made it to the postseason last year are on your schedule this year, including a trip to Maryland. Yeah, of course. You know, you want to play the best to be the best. And last season, um, you know, we were proud to see some of the teams that we were able to, you know, capture and beat. And you see us splitting with um, a lot of the top teams. Princeton, uh, we couldn't quite catch. Uh, we did get them in a half. But obviously in basketball, it's, it's not horseshoes. So uh, we've got to do a better job of being able to play them solidly in two halves. We beat Harvard. We beat Yale. Um, you know, Dartmouth has always been a, a team that uh, has been at the top last year. They struggled a bit. But, you know, we expect that um, we'll be ready for that this year. This, you know, and then you look at our schedule. We're playing Maryland. Yeah. You know, sixth in the country. We're playing Princeton. They finished 25th in the country last year. They were the first Ivy women's team to um, finish in the top 25. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're finishing with an RPI record of 32 in the country. So we have about 16 teams that are, are around that um, around that level, and we do believe in playing the best to uh, be the best, and that's something that. You know, I think comes from uh, a player-driven attitude that we have in our program. They really want to get out there and test the waters, and you know, we're excited to have that opportunity. Pittsburgh from the Big East, another yeah. team that's on your you know, schedule. Yeah, Caroline King, who's yeah. a, um, a three-year letter winner. Um, she's also a tri-captain. We have uh, Sheila Dixon, Caroline King, and Lindsay Nickel as a tri-captain, and we're bringing her home to Pittsburgh. We'll play Pittsburgh in the Thanksgiving. Uh, time, so we're excited about that. Let's talk about the captains. Coach, what do you expect from your captains in the form of leadership? Do you ask them to lead by example? Do you ask them to be vocal leaders? What are you looking for from your captains? Um, well, when you look at it as a single word captain, you know it has to be someone that can communicate well and represent their team and, and the issues that kind of rise and anyone working together. I don't care what organization you're in, you're always going to have opinions and different experiences and you know, you know, and when you're talking about sport, you know, you're either doing it or you're not doing it. So you want to have a captain that can communicate and represent their team while still being able to kind of have their foot in the door with the friendship and um, be able to uh, sit down with a coach and you know, make suggestions on some of the different ways to either, you know, run an offense or run a defense. So uh, I'm really excited about not only the ability of those three, because they have three seasons, three teams under their belt, so they'll be able to really take a look and provide direction for us, and we're excited about that, because, you know, we've had six championships at Brown. Uh, our last one was in 06, and um, you know, I mean, that mm -hmm. doesn't come often, and when you have talent and you have people working together, you know, there's so many things that can happen. Like, who would think that Brown University on with women's basketball would be able to beat Florida you know on their home court so anything's possible and it, it does talent does make it easier uh, but teamwork makes it happen and I, I expect that from them that's a lot you know there's a lot of things that rise you are now entering your 25th <laughs> season 25th or as you say your season. 25th <laughs> first season yes. and it, it that's just a remarkable run whether or not you know it what has <laughs> been the key to your success here at Brown? Well, you know, I have to cite uh, my staff, Colleen Kelly. She played at Brown. She's an 06 champion. Uh, she's back in her fourth season. John Parsons, um, you know, he's old school passion that rose in my staff from an unpaid position for two years into his fourth year as my assistant coach. When you have people like that, and now we have Meredith Ward, who is a first team All State, uh, Rhode Island All State at Westerly High School player that um, turned us down and went to Holy Cross and had a, a great career there, probably her best game against Brown last year, now on my staff. And, um, you know, we have people like that that you work with. When you have people like Jack Hayes, who actually worked with our program his first year when he mm -hmm. was in sports information, and you have them come back and bring the experience that they have, you know, like, um, you know, it's hard not to not be successful. And, um, you know, I really think uh, athletics provides so much more than just the game itself. And you need to have uh, teamwork. You have to have professors and presidents and, um, you know, administrators that see that value. And I think Brown does that. Exciting times ahead this season for the Brown Women's Basketball Program. Coach Burr, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Scott. Go Bears.